Hey there gamers, how's it going? My name is Waddles, welcome to an enchantment guide video. What's that? You thought the enchantment guide series was over after like a year away? Uh, no, of course not. It's not over. It's back and in full swing. In today's video, we'll be going over each and every enchantment you can get on a crossbow in Survival Minecraft. We'll be going over each enchantment in depth and doing a little bit of showcasing. If the video helps you out, or if you enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like and maybe even subscribe. So let's actually start things off today with a little bit of crossbow crafting. To get your hands on a crossbow, you can either kill some villagers or find it in a loot chest or craft the thing. This is the crafting recipe for a crossbow right here. The crossbow is basically an alternative to the bow. It is a ranged weapon that can fire arrows, tipped arrows, or even firework rockets. The crossbow was added in the village and pillage update. Personally, I prefer the bow still, but the crossbow definitely isn't bad. So now let's go ahead and take a look at the actual enchantments that you can get on this thing. The first crossbow enchantment that we're looking at today is possibly also the coolest crossbow enchantment. This enchantment is known as Multishot. Multishot has one enchantment level. Now, Multishot is an enchantment that turns your crossbow into a multi-shooting destruction weapon. <laughs> Something purely evil or super, super cool, depending on how you look at it. With the Multishot enchantment on your crossbow, your crossbow will shoot three arrows each time it shoots instead of a single arrow. Now, these three arrows will go out in three different directions. One will be straight, one will be to the left, and one will be to the right. Each arrow is actually being shot 10 degrees apart from the one right next to it. Now the thing that makes the multi-shot enchantment even cooler is the fact that it actually only uses one arrow in survival. If you take a look at how many arrows I have in my hotbar currently, each time I'm shooting I am only losing one arrow. Now the player can actually go and pick up the center arrow if the center arrow doesn't end up actually hitting anything, but the side arrows, those are basically ghost arrows and cannot be picked up. If you happen to be shooting tipped arrows out of your multi-shot crossbow, well then each arrow is going to be tipped. The big downside about multi-shot though is the fact that it will use up 3 durability points each time it is shot instead of the usual 1 durability point, so you're going to definitely want to have enchanting on your crossbow if you're going with multi-shot. Multi-shot is mutually exclusive with the piercing enchantment, which means they cannot be on the same crossbow in survival. Speaking of piercing, piercing is actually the next enchantment in our crossbow video today. Piercing is an enchantment that has four different levels, piercing one through four. If your crossbow happens to have, say, piercing four on it, then that piercing four crossbow can shoot through five entities total. That's kind of really, really cool. Any arrow that is shot from a piercing crossbow can pass through whatever level it is, plus one entity. So a piercing one crossbow can shoot through two entities. Piercing also actually comes with another extra little benefit. Arrows shot from a piercing crossbow can be retrieved after piercing a mob, so it's kind of like infinity, but absolutely not at the same time. <laughs> the piercing enchantment will ignore shields. Now, again, piercing and multi-shot are mutually exclusive, meaning these enchantments will never and can never be on the same crossbow in survival Minecraft. Next, we're going to talk about Unbreaking. Unbreaking is one of the best enchantments in Minecraft. This is an enchantment that can go on pretty much everything, including the crossbow. Now, Unbreaking makes your tools last longer. There are three enchantment levels of Unbreaking, Unbreaking 1, 2, and 3. Unbreaking will cause a 100 divided by the level of Unbreaking plus 1% chance that one use will decrease the durability of the tool. So, for example, let's say we have, I don't know, an Unbreaking 3 crossbow. Then we have 100 divided by 3, which is the Unbreaking level, plus 1. That is 100 divided by 4. So that means each use of the crossbow will only have a 25% chance that a shot will actually decrease the bow's durability. So, in short, Unbreaking will make your crossbow last a whole lot longer, which is absolutely amazing. If you're going to be using a crossbow, especially a crossbow with the multi-shot enchantment, then you are definitely going to want to get Unbreaking on that crossbow as well. I mean, if you can make your tools last longer, why would you not make your tools last longer? Don't be crazy. <laughs> Next, we have an evil enchantment, which is actually a curse, the Curse of Vanishing. Now, the Curse of Vanishing is actually a treasure enchantment, which means you will not get it from the enchanting table. You'll either have to find a crossbow with this enchantment on it, or put 
the enchantment on it, but uh, you probably don't want to do that. That wouldn't really make sense. Now, the curse of vanishing uh, enchantment or curse will cause whatever item it is on to disappear upon the player's death forever like it doesn't drop it's it's gone this will only happen though if the curse item is in the player's inventory at the time of death so that means that you can kind of cheat your way around it by dropping your curse of vanishing crossbow right before you die if you have a curse of vanishing crossbow or you could just craft a different crossbow and not put curse of vanishing on it that would probably work a little better so uh, yeah, <laughs> Curse of Vanishing is just bad, but you probably won't ever find a crossbow with the enchantment on it, so that's kind of good. The next enchantment in today's video is actually the last crossbow exclusive enchantment. This enchantment is known as Quick Charge. Quick Charge has three levels, one, two, and three. The Quick Charge enchantment speeds up the crossbow's charge time. Quick Charge is really, really nice to have. A Quick Charge 3 crossbow actually charges up a little faster than a normal bow does. However, the Quick Charge 3 enchantment cannot be enchanted from an enchantment table, meaning you'll either have to combine two Quick Charge 2 crossbows or to quick charge to books. You can also obtain quick charge 3 via villager trading. As you can see here, quick charge is absolutely amazing. It's it's really really nice to have, especially in high intensity situations like maybe you're fighting a raid, you're taking on I don't know, a cave. <laughs> Just any anytime you need your crossbow to shoot and then shoot again and then shoot again, then that would be a good time to have quick charge. The quick charge enchantment along with piercing and multi-shot were all added in the 1.14 update alongside the crossbow. The final crossbow enchantment in today's video is of course mending. Mending is another treasure enchantment. That means you won't be finding mending in an enchantment table. You'll either have to AFK fish for mending or trade with a villager for a mending book. Then you can go ahead and put mending on your crossbow. With mending on your crossbow and your crossbow in your hand, when you gain experience, your crossbow will actually heal up a little bit of its durability, which is really, really nice. If you have mending on your crossbow or really any of your tools, those tools can basically last forever and you don't have to go back and like repair them in an anvil or anything like that if you have something set up like a basic mob farm like a skeleton farm or a zombie farm coming from a spawner then you can use that thing as basically a way to repair all of your tools including your mending crossbow but again you're going to actually have to try to find mending either get a librarian villager to sell the mending book to you or afk fish a bunch and hopefully fish up the mending book mending works really really well when paired with unbreaking three so those are all of the enchantments that you can get on your crossbow in survival minecraft now what's the best possible crossbow that you could get well that's going to be kind of up to you but in my opinion the best crossbow that you can get is this thing right here now this crossbow has piercing for quick charge three mending and unbreaking three on it i definitely opt to go for piercing over multi-shot even though multi-shot is really really cool i just am not a huge fan of how multi-shot uses up the crossbow's durability so i kind of have to go for piercing this is a crossbow that will charge up pretty fast and use very little durability. The crossbow will also shoot through a bunch of mobs and then whenever this crossbow's health is low, I can go ahead and mend it up at one of my spawner farms. But it's again kind of personal preference. If you like multi-shot and you don't really care about the durability going down, then go with multi-shot over piercing. It's completely your call. And that just about does it for the crossbow enchantment guide. I hope this video helped you guys out. I hope it answers some of your questions. If you are wondering anything, definitely go ahead and ask it in the comments below, and I'll do my best to get back to you. If you enjoyed this one, do me a favor and leave a like and consider subscribing if you haven't done so yet. On the end card, I will leave my enchantment guide playlist. It's a kind of got a lot of old videos in it, and some of those videos are probably pretty bad, so <laughs> watch at your own risk risk but they're there and hopefully they'll help you out too if you'd like to see more enchantment guide videos just let me know and i can do that i can maybe update some of those older videos that maybe aren't the best down in the description is my patreon you can pledge for some cool benefits like access to my fan server early content and even video dedication also down below the video is the link to my twitter my instagram everything like that and the elite tier waddles merch check it out if you're interested thank you very much for watching i'd like to send a special shout out to my wonderful patron grade one today thank you for the support and i will see you in the next one. Goodbye, everybody.